For 24-year-old Reed Zelny, it's fun being single. There's a lot of young people who are really motivated people, a lot of really smart people. It's just, it's fun to meet people around here. When he meets women out in the Palo Alto bar scene, the conversation is usually the same. People uh, start talking about the, the startups they've been at, you know, how much money they made in the last acquisition, acquisition stuff like that. <laughs> Katarina Mirabelli at District Wine Bar in San Francisco has seen it all from behind the bar. A lot of girls will ask me if you know any young successful gentleman that is single, please introduce it. I got more requests for phone number than for wine. Yulia Smirnova is a single woman who has her own strategy for finding a man. It's a free country. You can get whoever you want and what you want. People are looking for someone who makes you feel special. Amy Anderson is the founder of Lynx, a high-end Silicon Valley dating service. She tries to spark those connections. She also advises clients on who to avoid. You go to any of the upscale hotels in the Silicon Valley on any given night and kind of spot a woman dressed a certain way, let's just say, maybe approaching the older guy. And if she asks him about his, you know, financial portfolio or his other residences, he should run for the hills. Now we know these newly minted millionaire bachelor and bachelorettes know what it takes to make it in social networking. But does that mean they're any good at actual face-to-face -face socializing? Guys in tech are really good at math and science, but that doesn't mean that we know anything about chemistry. As for the competition from rich Facebook engineers, Bachelor Reed doesn't bat an eye. Uh, people are into new ideas around here. You don't necessarily have to be at Facebook or Google. And I think this is the kind of crowd they're like, they're interested in kind of the next Zuckerberg, not necessarily like Zuckerberg himself, you know.